the future of innovation for warehouse automation. Here to talk about that today is Corey Kalla, President and CEO of Sencorp White. Hello, Corey. Hello, good morning. Welcome. Corey, can you tell me what is the impact of artificial intelligence on warehouse automation? Uh, great question, and yes, it is a topic that everyone is talking about. I think it's still undefined in our, in our supply base at this point. Um, what's interesting is uh, the data is evolving as we speak every, every day, we're learning more and more, but at the end of the day, it's going to be about delivering to the end user and the consumer what they want, what they need faster. That's, that's what all this is about. Um, so for us, um, you know, we're still monitoring and watching what AI means and how to build it into our products to predict when and where to have product quickly available for our customers and, uh, and our end users. So what sort of things specifically can AI offer over just standard sort of inventory uh, count or, or whatever? Yeah, so AI is great, um, again, to help make those predictions about, you know, trends, it can quickly identify trends that maybe the human wouldn't be able to detect uh, you know, as fast. So the software can actually alert the supply chain that it's time to make some moves that maybe the human wouldn't recognize for a year or two and the software could recognize in a day or two. Right, that's fantastic. So that's a great innovation. Can we talk a little bit about what are some of the major innovations that you see in warehouse automation coming up in the next, say, 10 years? Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, as we transition through, uh, you know, as, as everything evolves in the supply chain, you know, in the early days, it was about moving pallets of product, and then it was break case, and then it went to individual items to consumer. Uh, everything is about getting product closer to the consumer. Everything that you'll see at Modex is trying to, to solve that last mile delivery and make sure that the right inventory is available near the people that want it uh, and get it to them the quickest. That's what this is all about. So let's go back to today. What can companies do to take advantage of the innovations that are happening in 2024? Um, you know, some of the biggest trends as you walk the show floor, everything is about autonomous robots, AMRs, right? It, it's all about supplementing the human workforce. Uh, you know, COVID, when COVID hit, it changed a lot of people's mind about what work is and what work-life balance is and what they want to do with their life. And I think, you know, adapting to the autonomous world and having us coexist, you know, with that robotic subsystem as part of a warehouse is going to, going to continue to be a trend you know, for the next 10, 20 years, and eventually, uh, you know, probably will replace the worst, the warehouse worker as we think about them. Right, so you really see robots replacing warehouse wor workers eventually? I do, because they're jobs that, that are almost a necessity, but most people don't want to fulfill them. Uh, everybody we talk to is struggling with labor. They're having trouble keeping labor for longer than six or eight weeks, they have to retrain. So everything in that we're seeing is around how do we get the operators up to speed faster and then how do we keep them or how do we eliminate them? Uh, so all the technologies uh, are based around around that concept. Right, right, thank you so much, Corey. Um, now, would you like to tell us a little bit about Sendcorp White? Yeah, Sendcorp White is, um, multi-pronged business. We have several businesses under one roof. Um, we have the Intelligent Storage Division, which is White Systems. It's been around for about 75 years. Uh, we focus on vertical storage, utilizing that cubic warehouse space, uh, where traditionally you've, you would only use seven or eight feet of a warehouse. And now we're taking that to the ceiling. I, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to see when real estate investors are going to start talking about the cost of cubic feet instead of square feet, uh, because the higher that building goes, the more valuable it's going to be with the technologies that are that are being delivered today from from our industry. Um, so that's one of the, the legs of Sencorp White. The other leg is we do medical tray and uh, package sealing. Uh, so for medical device, 
industrial supplies. Um, we have a packaging division where we make uh, machines, uh, you know, for for packaging. Um, again, mainly medical device. Um, and then we have a large software presence. We do w, WMS, WCS, WES uh, with our Ascent Warehouse Logistics Division. And then we have a robust um, service team uh, with, with about 35 people around the country that service all of our equipment. Um, we stock inventory in vans and, and uh, the whole thing is around getting to the customer as quickly as possible to service the assets that they purchased from us. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've been speaking to Corey Culler from Sencorp White. Thank you for watching.